What's up everybody? We got some new information from LSAC about the LSAT Flex. So I wanted to go through a few things. Uh, this is their adjustment to the fact that they had to cancel the April LSAT and COVID and everything moving online. So here's what we know right now. Uh, it's for April registrants only. So if you weren't registered for the April LSAT, there's nothing that you really need to even worry about right now. Um, it might be interesting to you though. And if you're taking the LSAT in the summer, LSAT Flex might still be around. Um, for now, they've announced that people who were registered for the April LSAT are taking it in May. Uh, those dates are down here. I'll talk about the dates in just a sec. Um, the deal with the test is that they've decided that because it's going to be remote, virtually proctored at home, they don't want to give you a break. Um, I guess they're worried that you're going to go look up the answers in the bathroom or something while you're uh, on your break. So they've shortened it to three sections. They did it in a strange way. They dropped one of the sections of logical reasoning and they're going to adjust the scoring scale accordingly. But what they're not going to do is they're not going to double your score for LR. So used to be two scored sections of LR, one games, one reading comp. Now it's one section of LR, one games, one reading comp, and they're not going to double your LR score, they said. So LR used to be 50% of the test. Now it's only a third. Games used to be a quarter of the test. Now it's a third. Reading comp used to be a quarter of the test. Now it's a third. I think they had better ways to do that, but that's what they decided to do. Um, it does result in a new balance of scoring. Um, there's really no use trying to equate it your own three section score. I would just not worry about that if I were you. Keep prepping with the four section tests we have. You can't really just pick out a random section, you know, of logical reasoning. I, I suppose, well, let me not even get into it. I'll talk about it on the podcast if you want to hear me speculate on what you could do to adjust. But I think if you just keep doing four section tests for now, you're going to be fine. One thing to point out is that um, the old test day used to be three sections back to back, then a break, then two more timed sections um, because of the experimental section. So now they've dropped the experimental section and they've dropped uh, one of the timed scored sections. So really it's the same thing. It's just three sections and then you're done instead of three sections, a break, come back and do more. So the, t the day is just shorter. I don't think anybody needs to practice the timing or anything because all it was was, I mean, all it is is just the first half of what you were planning to do anyway. So I don't, I don't think you need to worry about it. And the most important thing up here is just don't panic. But if you were ready for the normal LSAT in April, you are definitely ready for the LSAT flex in May. People are panicking because they're going to put an asterisk on the score, uh, on your score report. Law schools don't care about that. Law schools want your money, basically. They want to admit you. And if you get a good score on the LSAT Flex, they're going to be more than happy to admit you. This is the reality that we're dealing with. Everybody has to deal with this. So, and all the law schools have to deal with this. They're not going to just discriminate against you arbitrarily because of some asterisk on your score report. Uh, score report. That makes no sense. Um, I think you can prep as normal, 35 minute time sections. If you're a regular test taker, if you're accommodated, you're still going to get your accommodations on the flex. So 53 minutes or 70 minutes or whatever accommodations you have. I just, the test itself, the content of the test isn't changing. Uh, the balance of the test is weirdly changing. If you suck at logical reasoning, maybe the LSAT flex is the best test for you. Um, but I don't really know anybody who sucks at LR and also doesn't suck at reading comp and games. Um, you know, flip side, if, if you're great at games or if you're great at reading comp, yeah, okay, then the LSAT flex might be a little better for you, but I just don't really know anybody who's awesome at games and reading comp, but sucks at LR. I also don't know anybody the other way around where like LR is their best section, but they suck at games and suck at reading comp. That's just not really that much of a thing. So, um, I don't think it changes all that much. Um, these deadlines are actually important though. So <clears throat> you have, uh, they sent this email like last night and if you're registered, you have until tomorrow, Friday, uh, April 17th at midnight to tell them whether you're gonna, uh, that's Eastern time, 11.59 Eastern time, if you're gonna, um, to tell them whether you're gonna take the test or not. Um, there's a form that you have to submit. So uh, do submit that form. I'm not sure. I would be to be safe, submit it whether or not, I mean, like check to make sure if you want to take the test, you might have to submit the form. So read the emails LSAC sends you if you're registered, please. 
Uh, the test itself is going to be Monday and Tuesday, uh, May 18th and 19th for most test takers. They might adjust that for accommodated test takers. They might have to do some other stuff throughout the week. Um, and then they're going to release everybody's score on the same day, which is going to be, they're targeting, they say, Friday, June 5th to get the scores. So again, only matters uh, immediately if you're an April registrant. If, you're, if you were registered for April, you're now taking it probably on May 18th or 19th if you want, and I think you should. Uh, it's just a shorter version of the test. I don't see why you wouldn't do it. Uh, but you have to tell them by Friday, April 17th, that's tomorrow, if you want to take the test. Um, whatever you do, don't panic. I don't think it's any big deal. Hit me up with questions if you got them. Uh, I'm here to help. Thanks.